Hey guys, it's Sir Almighty Gamer here. Um, my first arena video I've ever made. I just wanted to make one because I thought it'd be fun. And just really quick, I'll show you. I know none of you know who I am, but this is me. I have uh, 1,045 wins and 152 arena wins. I think this is, yeah, 9. I'm decent at arena, but I'd like to get better. So that's why I thought I'd make a video on it. So, my best rank ever, I believe, was three no two i made it to two and maybe season like five or something and i really haven't played in a while so i have enough gold to go to arena so we'll do that <clears throat> all right oh my okay well i don't like shaman and i'm not a huge warrior fan so i think we're gonna go with rogue and rogues are pretty good in arena all right we'll pick rogue and oh gosh so I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a mid-range rogue, maybe like a weapon-based deck. But then again, I'm not really sure what my gets. So okay, I like the man. Angry Chicken just terrible. Mana Wraith is okay, but I think Master Disguise is better. All right, now I have no idea. I have not like looked at the DLC, like no goblins and gnomes. I think that's what it's called, or the Black Rock Mountain. So I have no idea what some of these cards even do. Let's see. Getting up. Choose a minion. Shuffle. This is good. Hmm. But I think I'm going to go with the Acidic Swamp Ooze. Because a lot of people love to use weapons, so. Hmm. Don't care about the Illumin Priestess. She's not useful enough. He's decent, but a 1 4. So I'm going to go with the Nightblade. Oh my. Return a friendly minion to your hand. It costs 2 less. Oh, the Tiger. Vanish is pretty useless to me. Uh, Tiger's decent. Show Shadow Steps. Let me think. Um, I think I'll go to Shadow Step. I think I'll get a lot of other minions. So, okay. Goblin Auto Barber. Huh. He looks pretty good. A 3 2 and a Gizzard. Okay. <laughs> Ringleader. Cold Blood. I think we're going to go with this one. Hopefully, we get a few weapons. Because if we don't, it's going to be useless. But, oh, definitely the Berserker. This is one of my favorite cards ever. The Amani Berserker. Huh. Okay. It's a pretty simple choice. You can see my curve is really working out good so far. How many mechs do I have so far? I only have one mech. So, Betrayal is not that good. It's very useful in certain situations, but not many. So I think we're going to go with the Technician guy. Oh my. Abusive Sergeant. These are all pretty good guards, actually. But given I don't have a 1-drop, and I already have one Shadow Step, Spectral Knight's good, but I really want a 1-drop. Alright, let's see. Man Addict is useless. I'm not playing like one of those weird Man Addict rogues where it gets like 20 attack in one turn. I think I'm going to go with the Matter Bomber. He's just so much fun to play with. Oh my. Another. Okay. I actually think I'm going to go with the second Amani Berserker. Because Defias Ringleader is good, but I just think Berserker gives you so much more control early on. Oh, if you're holding a dragon, gain 1-1. One, one. Well, I don't think I'm going to have one of those. Okay, I'm going to go with this. Now, I really hope we get a weapon soon. <laughs> Dragonoid. Dracoid Crusher? If your opponent has 15... Oh my god. I like this. Alright. Alright. Shiv, Bloodfinner. Okay. I have a lot of two drops, obviously. These are all two drops. Um. I think I'm gonna go with the Bloodfin Raptor. Yeah. Okay. I think assassinate because I have like no like uh, removal so okay they really want me to choose this guy right now sprint sprint is pretty good but that pretty much kills all your momentum now I think we're gonna go to the fire ring leader and as you can see we're kind of heavy on this all right that's a mech uh, what is this where's hmm I mean, my two drops can be so heavy. I think I want to get a three drop here. Oh my goodness! Corehound's terrible, so Storm One's better. Um, Salty Dog. Oh, these are all terrible. Maybe Gurabashi Berserker. I need a weapon really badly. Ogre Ninja. That's cool. It's really cool. Except this is all. Where's like the? All right, I have ten cards left. Sinister Strike is good. Gang Up's good, and so is War Golem. I think I'm gonna go Sinister Strike. Because War Golem's a little late game for me, and I don't. By the time I get to like seven man, I'm already gonna be dead. So, 
See, Sinister Striker gang up. I think Sinister Strike's a better choice. Conceal? Okay, no. Conceal's pretty good. But I think I'm gonna go Cold Blood because I don't. Again, I don't have. Oh, there it is. That's an easy choice. Just instantly. Alright. Uh, definitely no much inventor because as you can see, our, our four drops. Right now, we're looking for any mid drops here to round out our curve. I would take Conceal if I had more four drops, and Voodoo Doctor just terrible. Okay. Okay, this is good. Seeing as I already have plenty of two drops, I think. Oh, well, actually. Well, I don't have any spells, so I think Lepronome's a better choice here. Oh, nice. Give your weapon. Combo. Give a friendly... I think, to be honest, I don't want to get this or this because, well, actually, hmm, I could become like a weapon-based deck if I wanted to take like a mid-range weapon deck. Um, how many deadly poisons do I have? One deadly poison. I think I'm going to go with another deadly poison, to be honest. Because that gives you... That gives you a lot of board control for three mana. But I also like this too. Give your weapon three attack. Hmm. Not getting this. It's either this one or this one. Give your weapon three attack. Hmm. I'm about to go with deadly poison. I just think it'll be more useful in all situations. Okay, seriously. How many times you know what? Well fine, we'll get this guy. Just because I'm only getting him because it seems like they want me to. Taunt, battle cry. Little Exorcist? Okay. I only have two Death Rattle cards, right? I think I only have two Death Rattle cards. Um, but I think it's better than the Emperor Cobra. We already have an Ogre Ninja, so. Phantom Knives is good. Another Beast of Sergeant. Now we'll go with the Phantom Knife. Alright, one more card. Deal two damage to all undamaged enemy minions. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. But I really like this one better. Well, I kind of want to. Uh, no one wants spell damage. Oh, look, we'll roll this guy. Okay, so this is a really, really early game with a little bit of mid game and a lot of late game. So, and it's like glitching out really hard right here. Okay, so we're gonna start a game. Uh, I'll probably play three games, two or three games in this first episode. Hopefully, I don't go 0 3. If I do, I probably just won't even post this video. I think. It's funny how some you'll make a deck and you'll think it's terrible, and then you'll you'll go like eight and zero, and then sometimes you'll make a deck and think it's great, and then you'll go on three. So okay, I gotta turn this down. Oh, all right, mage. Great. Wow, look at this. Look at all those two drop minions I have. Wow, look at all those two drop minions I have. I'm just gonna mulligan it all. I need two drops or one drops, which I have. That's like 15 out of 30 cards in my deck, or one and two drops. So come on. There we go. See? That's great. Swamp Boost is great. Mighty Big is great. Sinister Strike's okay. And then Master Disguise is great too. Alright. I'm just gonna... Um, I'm gonna open with the Amani. Because I don't want to lose the 3 attack on the Swamp Boost. Chances are he'll have a 2 drop. And if not, we'll be in pretty good shape. And just so you're wondering, I did... Oh, okay. See? That's what I'm saying. Just instantly dead. And I don't really have anything to activate him anyways, so it's okay. It's pretty good value for my mid-range minions won't get killed by a flame cannon now, so. And if you're wondering, I did coin out the two drop because I had a second one. And he's gonna hit that? Okay. Hopefully I'd... Okay. You know what I might do, actually? Just to get some people on the board. Mm. Well, my choices are... I can just dagger, which I don't have any really good things with the dagger. So I think I'm going to Sinister Strike and then Ringleader, because he's probably going to want to ping this, but then I can still have damage on the board. So yeah, we're going to do that. And then I get the combo too, so... Perfect. Look at that. So, he, if he deals with this, he's not really going to have a chance to play anything, and I should... These are some good combos I got. So, okay, so he did play that. That isn't a huge deal. No, I mean it is, but it isn't at the same time. So, give a friendly minion stealth. <sighs> Question is, do I deal with this? I think I should deal with it. But if it has 3 health, I'm going to be at a world of hurt. So, given he only has 1 HP, I think I'm going to deal with it. And hopefully he doesn't... That's ridiculous. Okay, great. 
Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna give. No, 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 wait, wait, back off. Okay. Always make sure you attack first. <laughs> And then next turn, and because if I didn't attack first, I would have stealthed it, and then attacked, and there goes the stealth. So I think that's a good move. And then next turn, I, look at this thing. I have a freaking ogre ninja, a five for a six six. That's pretty good. We have decent board control. It depends what he drops though. So Ooh, that's not what you want to see ever, never. Oh my goodness. Well, okay. I think we know what we're gonna do, right? Stealth. Okay, he's a stealth too. Okay, well, this is really sad actually. Yeah, I mean they're all dead anyway, so. Eh, we got a lot of value out of that, which makes me upset. But at the same time, I get to drop a six six with stealth, and even if he does have fifty percent chance to attack the wrong enemy, it's still six six is a lot of value. What are you gonna drop? Oh great. Um, does he have a secret? So it turns out he doesn't have a secret. He just played one. Now this is where the f this is where it gets fun. All right, we're gonna kill a Kintor Mage, and then we're gonna attack his face because that's an, a lot of damage. Like, well, we'll get there. Let's so we're gonna dagger up, and we're gonna deadly poison, and there's a lot of damage. So we're gonna hit this, and you think I'd want to clear this, but there's really no point because. If he gets a secret, I don't need this guy, like, getting demolished. Okay, so, we're gonna drop this guy. Actually, no. 2-3. Gain 1-1 one, one for each death. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna drop you instead. Just in case. Now, you know, if there's a 50% chance he misses this, and I really hope he doesn't, please don't miss. Cool. Oh, look at Oh! Oh my god! Oh, wow, it's for each, no matter whose team it's on. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. So, I have a storm wind next turn, which is pretty good. I don't know what she could have that would really do that much to me. Oh. Okay, perfect. Now she has to somehow kill it. Oh, please don't hit him. Please don't hit him. Please don't hit him. Yes! Yes, RNG. Awesome, 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 awesome. This is cool. Alright, so there's a secret. I'm not too mad about the secret. But actually kind of am a little bit. Well, here's the good news, is I can attack her face no matter what. So, deal two damage to all undamaged. That's useless right now. So, what we're going to do... So, this is kind of rough, actually. Because I want to drop a Stormwind. But, I don't want him to have a Stormwind, too. And chances are that's Mirror Entity. Uh, well, you know what, let's kill him. Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna take his face, but do I take a risk in playing Stormwind? I think I'm going to. Oh, but then it's well. Actually, watch this. This would be funny. <laughs> okay, it is mirror entity, which is fine. But I want to attack your face. <laughs> so, that was actually a pretty good play, I think. He has 5 health. And I'm not saying I can lose. I can still lose this. Hopefully not. That'd be pretty well embarrassing. And there we go. So, we're already 1 0. Great game. So, I kind of took a chance with that mirror entity. But, I thought it was the correct chance. Cool, cool, cool. So, we got 1. Alright, be back in a second. Alright, so we get one. It was a good first game. Let's uh, start with the second one. So I'm probably going to play about three. So hopefully I go three and up. And even if I don't, it's okay. So it's a pretty good deck, I think. As long as we can draw into our deadly poisons to clear board so we can keep our two and three drops on the board and even our one drops, then I think we'll be okay. And into the late game, as you saw, it scaled pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with the performance of it. I'm not the best arena drafter, but I try to get better every time. So, hey, 1-0. and oh. My goal for every arena run is 5 right now. I think that's a pretty attainable goal for everyone. So. Oh, good. Not the same mage. 
Her name is Bacon, by the way. I think those are the Black Rock, Black Rock Mountain cards, too. Alright, this will be fun. Okay, cool. So I think we're going to keep Defias, because we want a 2-drop. Not our preferred 2-drop, but still. Assassin's Blade is... Yeah, too far. 5 is five mana is way too much. This is a great card. Uh, no. So, even though I could get some... Oh, okay. Well, we do... It. I really did not want the double deadly poisons, but I think clearing her minions on the board will be pretty easy. Well, this is pretty simple, I think. And I'm not going to drop Defias Ringleader, though you may want me to, because the 2-1 will probably get killed by this, and I only have a 2-2 on board, and it's just not that strong, I don't think. And like, oh my god. Watch this. Add a random minion to your hand, it costs 3 less. Fine. We do have some options here. I actually am just going to dagger up, because next turn I could Deadly Poison and Defy a String Leader for some serious value, and probably clear his board. And he takes 3 damage now, so it's pretty strong. Let me see if I can do this right. No, I missed. Oh, I hit somebody in the background. I missed. Oh, there we go. Look, I didn't get anything. Look at- Oh, wait, wait, I want to see the rocket ship take off. Oh, rocket ship! Rocket ship! Go, rocket ship! And the ship's gone. Okay, so let's Deadly Poison. <sighs> I really don't want to hit him with the dagger, so I'm not going to. Hopefully he doesn't have a Swamp boost. That would pretty much ruin my day, not gonna lie. I would still have board control, but it, I, I, a Swamp boost would really ruin my day. Um, okay, so looking good so far. Does he have anything? Please don't have anything else. Oh, sweet. Oh, great. This is awesome. So, we're looking really good right now. So, all I'm going to do is just this, this, and the same play as last time. Give the 2 one stealth so he can't just ping it. So, I can pretty much kill anything he drops. And I'll probably use Fan of Knives next turn. Because, oh my goodness. Huh. That's a fun card. Oh. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I think what I'm going to do... Phantom Knives is always fun. Phantom Knives is always really, really fun. Oh, man. So I'm going to get See, because I need, to, I need to use a card because I need to drop the Cold Blood. Unless... What does Cold Blood give? Plus two attack? So I think what I'm going to do is Phantom Knives and then Cold Blood. So we're going to Phantom Knives for the best. Draw a card. Oh, that is great. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. I wish I would have got this before then, but yeah, it's whatever. So this isn't the greatest value what I'm doing now, but I mean, this is this value right now that I'm killing the Water Elemental with, that's some serious value. What? I should have killed him first. Ah, oh, that was a misplay. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. If you guys didn't catch that, I killed the water elemental elemental before. What's his name? Um the Cult Master. So he got to draw a card. Oh goodness. Oh, look at that. Hmm. What is that I see in your hand, me? Alright. This is the best play and pretty much the only play. And they I think what I want to do... Do I have lethal next turn? Yeah, I do have lethal next turn. Um, I can just deadly put That's four, two, four, seven damage on its own. Plus I have Stormwind. I mean, maybe it's something... Oh, nice. Alright. Nice! Oh! Nice! Okay. Well, well played. Well played. Look at that, two wins. Awesome. I think that was really that he didn't have anything at the beginning of the game is was really hard on him because of all my two drops. <laughs> Alright. Boom. Game two done. On to game three. Alright, so hopefully I can go three 0 for you guys and actually look like I know something about this game. Which I do know a little bit. So as you can see, Mage is a pretty not easy matchup, but we've won two, so that's good. So if we see another mage it'd be good news. Hope, I mean, 
one in nine chance. Probably see like a druid or something. That's not what I want to see, but Okay. Helen is pretty weak in arena in my opinion. But that doesn't mean anything. I didn't get the coin. Get rid of you. Give you weapon plus one attack. Okay. I think I'm gonna keep these. Hopefully I can combo this with my dagger and just get two attack. Alright, three two drops. Could not ask for anything better. What are those I've never seen that. What is that card back? See, I don't have all the card backs. I mean, I have most of the I think I missed one ranked season. I have all these card backs. Oh, that's... Which one is that? I don't have that one. Oh, great, a secret! Oh, man. I'm on your berserk. So, I don't know what that secret is, but it's probably summon a defender. That's pretty much it. Pretty much what it usually is. I will definitely buy the dagger. Hopefully, he... Some. Not really what I wanted to see. Okay. <sighs> I think the best choice here is to dagger and hit him so he can pop the secret. And if it isn't the secret I'm thinking of, we're gonna be in really good shape. Who you want me kill? So I'm not sure what that secret is, but having a 5-1 on board is really great. So next turn, if I can keep board clear, I think what this does is it gives the, I think it gives one of your own minions a plus 3-2 when one of your friendly minions dies. And usually that's an arena secret too, so that's why I just straight up attacked him. And even if it was the summon a 2-1 defender, I would only take in 2 damage, so. Oh, great. Awesome. Alright. Time to bring out the fun combos. Alright, here we go, boys. Alright. Wow, look at that. Three. Yeah. And believe it or not, I hope it didn't have a con like a consecrate would be pretty rough, not gonna lie. That'd be really sad. But we could also next turn I'm probably just gonna drop him and dagger. So I have a two two weapon. Okay. Not what I wanted to see at all. Unfortunately. Oh, there's that again. So, what I might do, though I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, I gotta think about this. If I dagger and then do this, it has a two. It is a two attack. My dagger's two attack. Okay. So many. Ah, man, this is gonna be hard. Ooh, I'm gonna lose most of my minions just on this stupid drop. Okay. I'm going to shadow step him too, because, watch, so, I think that's our best play, because I really want to keep this board clear, and I know my minions are all these small dudes, but it's really important that I keep it clear. Alright, so we're going to drop this, right, yeah, so this is a 2-2, two -two. okay, Here we go. so I'd like to hit you, get rid of you. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. There's no point to get rid of him now because I, I was I was saving the shadow saving the shadow step. So if it was like a, f a three or four health two drop, I could just kill it. Because board clear in this game is essential. Ah oh, crap! Ah oh, great. Well, the game was fun while it lasted. All right, so I still have a plus two attack, which is always a good thing. Okay. What I want to do. Um. Well, I think I'm just gonna start flooding the board. Is what I'm gonna do. So. Enter the shadows. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna use. The, no, I'm just gonna. No, I'm gonna keep the dagger. So. Hopefully he doesn't have like a consecrate or anything. Um. I have some I have a one card draw. Hopefully I draw something. My deck's pretty. I just hope I don't drop like a Lep Gnome or something. Oh, good. Well, obviously he was gonna kill that guy, but now he doesn't have this, and he just took two damage, so I'm not complaining. All right, not Divine Shield, please no. Not on my watch. Oh my! See, that's an issue. Not the biggest issue in the world. All right, this is where the fun begins. <laughs> 
because I don't want to pop that secret yet. But oh, Christ! Oh uh, man, I really just messed up big time. <laughs> okay, well, this is where the fun begins. When I say fun, I mean absolutely no fun, actually. This. This is where you just start attacking him. I made the mistake that I cannot use a spell on a spectral knight. As a 7 8, he'll do a lot of damage, but if he doesn't have anything to follow it up, I still have a chance. Because if I can drop. Mm, okay. Well. Okay! It is now time to pull out this. Unfortunately, this is all I have, and I think it's... Ah, uh, just use a Sinister Strike. He can't kill all these people, you know? So, I'm just gonna do damage. I have 24, he has 12, but he does have a 7. Now, if he can't deal with these all, we still do have a good chance. Unfortunately, we need to draw something. I don't know what. Um, maybe Stormwind? What is this? What do you... If he gives, like, watch, it'll be like a Defender of Argus or something. Then I'll just quit. But, um, I don't have any silences or anything like that, so. Oh my goodness. That's actually not that bad. Because he's... But if you can... Uh, is he gonna... Okay, he's gonna draw cards, but I don't... I hope, um... Okay, guys, this is looking decent still. This isn't. This still isn't the worst thing ever. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Okay. So this is going to be a very crazy end of the game. So what I want to do is I don't want this guy to draw a card. So many. But for two damage, I don't know if it's worth it. So I'm going to drop this first. They'll never know what it is. Exactly. You're not going to hit you. Hit your face. I actually don't mind if he draws one card. For two damage, one card is not bad. Okay. So then... Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so close to winning. But so far... Okay, I want to shadow step you. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's just... Let's just do it, right? So the question is, does it matter if I do it now or later? No. Oh, can I have won that? I don't think I could have had lethal, but I forgot the shadow step. Oh my god. So I'm really hoping he doesn't have any heals. That's what I'm hoping for. He already used his big heal, dude. And he'll probably attack here, here, so he'll clear my board. But he only has one HP. If he doesn't have any taunts or anything, I can just dagger up and kill, which would be incredibly awesome. Oh my goodness. This is like the craziest part. If this guy kills me, I might be very upset. But there's no way, right? He can't. How does and there we go. So, my strategy is if he drops a big minion like that, you just flood the board with everything you got. Because, what's the chances that he stops all of those? Awesome. Well, that was part one of my Rogue Arena deck. I hope you enjoyed the first part, and I maybe taught you a thing or two, or just